In this video, you will see why I switched from Adobe Lightroom to Capture One Pro. Hey everybody, welcome to Dan Bowen Photography. I make portrait photography tip and tutorial videos as well as gear reviews and videos about the Sony A6000. I release new videos every Tuesday and Friday, so if you're new here, consider subscribing. So lately, I've been getting a lot of Instagram direct messages asking me about my editing workflow. So I decided to make a couple of videos detailing how I edit my photos. One of the first questions I get is, how do I edit my photos in Lightroom? And the answer is, I don't. I actually use Capture One Pro. About two years ago, I got interested in using Capture One Pro when I started hearing people talk about how good it was at editing raw photos. At the time, I wasn't totally satisfied with how I was editing pictures in Lightroom. I didn't really like the results I was getting, so I was open to trying something new. I ran across an article that was featured on Pettit Pixel by Kevin Patrick Robbins. In the article, he talked about how he was re-editing pictures in Capture One Pro and how he was getting much better results from and pulling more detail out of the RAW files. I will also say that because I'm a Sony camera user, there's actually a free light version of Capture One Pro for Sony users. It's called Capture One Express for Sony. So Capture One Express is sort of a stripped down version of Capture One Pro. It doesn't have all the features and it only works with Sony cameras, but it's completely free to download and try. So this is actually what I started out using when I started using Capture One. And so I decided to do some side-by-side -side comparisons and I edited some street photography photos that I took in the North End and edited one version in Lightroom and then one version in Capture One. And I was very surprised at how different the results were. Capture One just seemed to pull out more detail, render the colors better, and just overall give a better look to my photos. So I decided to start switching over and editing all my photos in Capture One, and I eventually downloaded Capture One Pro. So should you consider switching to Capture One Pro? Here are some of the pros and cons, no pun intended. So the pros are it's better at pulling out detail out of RAW files, and I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side edit later so you can see how the difference is. And overall, that's really the big key for me is can I get better looking images by using Capture One? over Lightroom. Now some of the cons of Capture One Pro is it's expensive. So it costs about $300 to download the software. But recently Capture One also started offering a subscription model, which you can get for as low as $15 a month if you sign up for a full year. So I'll put links in the description to where you can look into downloading Capture One Pro. Again, I am not affiliated with Phase One or Capture One, so I get no commissions or anything if you sign up for Capture One. But I think if you're interested in checking out a new editing software, it's worth looking into Capture One and seeing if it satisfies some of your needs. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you a side-by-side -side edit. I'm going to try to do the same edits in Adobe Lightroom and Capture One Pro and show you the results. Okay, so first we're gonna edit this portrait that I took of my friend Hannah here in Lightroom. And what I wanna do is I want to edit the same image in Lightroom and Capture One with the same type of settings to show you how different they look. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down here and change the camera calibration profile to camera neutral. Now, this is one advantage that Lightroom has over Capture One is that you can change this profile to the settings that you have in your camera. This is not something you can really do in Capture One. Let me show you real quick. Capture One just has this base characteristics tab here and the profile, the only one I can select for my camera is this Sony A6000 generic. So setting this up to camera neutral will give me basically the same starting point in Capture One and in Lightroom. So the first thing I wanna do this image is I wanna brighten it up a little bit. Uh, so we're gonna to go to exposure, bring it up there to probably about, we'll say 0.8, i take that. Next thing I wanna do is change the color temperature. It's 
like the cooler tone. So we're gonna bring it down. Let's try about there, 40, 34.73. Change the tint just a little bit. 31. Let's see. I'm gonna push up the midtones just a bit, brighten those, and then bring the shadows down. Add a little bit of a vignette. I want it to be a little bit brighter for 1.05. So there is the edit in Lightroom. So let's go over to Capture One and we'll try to do the same edits. So first thing I wanna do is bring the exposure up. We'll say to 1.05. We're gonna go change the the uh, white balance here. What did I set it to? Change the white balance to the same settings, 3473 and plus 31. So as you can see, the tint sliders are not really the same. So I'm gonna probably take this down to, let's say right there, about 12. And then what I wanna do is I wanna bring mid-tone point here and raise that up. And then we're gonna pull the shadows down. And we'll add a slight vignette. So now let's compare the results. So there you have it, a side-by-side -side comparison of Adobe Lightroom and Capture One Pro. Now, if you're interested in trying out Capture One Pro, I have put links in the description to where you can either download a trial version or check out one of the paid offerings that they have. Now, again, you can buy the full program for $300 US or a subscription package for as low as $15 a month. Now, if you want the Capture One Express for Sony, you can download that completely free and use that, but it only works with Sony cameras. And they have a light version of Capture One Pro where you can get access to all of the features, but only use it with Sony cameras. And I think that costs around $79. So again, I've put links in the description to all of this, and I'm not affiliated with Phase One in any way or Capture One. So if you download it and decide to use it, I don't make anything from it. Question of the day. What software do you use to edit your photos? In my next editing tutorial, I'm gonna show you my entire editing workflow from start to finish in Capture One Pro. We'll see you soon, folks. This has been another episode of Damn Bowl Photography. Peace.